Let's play Blorg in the Midwest. Just to show you guys how we play that game. It's a simple game, really. A game that involves nine cards by John Keane. Cards that are made like so. So you have two sections usually. One at the top, which is either a location like this shed or an object like this key. And they will have conditions to be taken. So the keys, for example, are found in the house. So you need to be in the house to get them. And, and that they involve also icons. So the key icon, the communications or signal icon, the screwdriver, the hammer, whatever, the energy icon. So these icons you have on item and location cards, but they won't be available to Blorg until he acquires them or until he goes on location to them. Once that is done, once he has them, the icons are available to do his actions whenever he needs them um, and until he discards the items or goes to a new location. So very practical. Now Blorg starts at the crash site. So he has the crash site icon, the corn and one energy icon. And in order to win this game, you need to come back to your ship with a sprocket, an alarm clock, the duct tape, and a toolbox. If you come back to this location with all these items, you can fix your ship and go home. Now you are an alien stuck in a farm somewhere in the Midwest. And you start with the memory eraser which is a very practical ray gun to have. The game has a timeline of four spots. One, two, three, and four. Four, four spots for cards. Sometimes you can have a spot that is missing a card. The game allows for that. It allows for a gap in the timeline. It's okay. But uh, at first, they are full. Um, there is another way to win this game is to draw a crop circle in the fields using the tractor and using the radio and the washing line, the clothesline. Um, you can also build a signal that will then attract passing ships here and you can go home with by hitching a ride but this way of winning is more difficult than fixing your own spaceship i have never succeeded actually in hitching a ride home so the game is simple there is only you can only have one action each turn an action is either changing your location or uh, taking an item or doing nothing. So now I am going to go. Okay, another concept is here I could go to the back garden, swapping my crash site to the back garden. And this is what I'll do. You know why? Because the back garden, it says here that the farmhouse is on the other side. So I want to get closer to the farmhouse in order to get inside and maybe find some stuff that will be useful to Blorg. So that was my action. I swapped my location to an available location. I could also have swapped, well, swapped my location to the location underneath my cart. But I don't want to do that now. I'm going to just do what I had done earlier. This is the first phase of the turn. So taking an action. Either switching location or grabbing an item. But now there's a radio here. And I'd like to have it. But it's in the house or the shed. And I'm in the back garden. So I can't take 
once this is done, we check for events. Now, events work with the timestamps. If they correspond to the spot of the card, then the event triggers. So here you have the foul foul, which has a timestamp of one, and it's on the location number one or time spot number one. So the foul foul triggers. It says flip your location card to escape. They are quacking at you and you want to hide. So you hide where? In the farmhouse. That's good for Blorg. Blorg is well hidden for now. Now the timestamp here is four, but it's on time spot number two. So no event, no event. Timestamp three for spot number four. So no event there either. Once this is done, you have done your action. You have checked your events now time passes time passes this way you f you slide the cards the extra card here the fifth card let's say goes into the deck by flipping and going underneath and then the first card from the deck enters the time line so here we are ready for turn number two uh, there is an important concept in this game in that you can always discard items that you have. You have a maximum of four items, one, two, three, four items in your hand. And your location is also considered in your hand. You cannot discard your location. You need to be somewhere. And in order to change your location, you need to take an action. But discarding is free. So you could discard items. If you do that, you can choose to either discard by flipping uh, on the same face that your item is, or flipping your card and discarding by flipping. You always discard underneath the draw deck. But if the game forces you to discard, then you cannot flip your card. You need to put it in the deck as it is, underneath still. So here we are. Let's do another turn, maybe. So still, I have an action. I'm at the farmhouse. And here, I have a, a clock, an alarm clock, that is found in the house. So sure, I'm going to want to take that, because the alarm clock is part of the fixing my ship solution. Uh, I could also take the radio because it's also found in the house. I think I'm going to take um, the radio because of time passing. I want to be sure to have the radio and the alarm clock I can still take in a later turn. So that was my action. I took uh, an item, put it in my hand. So now I have the memory eraser and the radio. It's good. Now, events, timestamp time 2, so no. Timestamp 1, no. A gap. And no event here, so no events still. Time passes, the gap passes, and... The fifth card goes back in the deck by flipping it. So I have two gaps, one here and one here. And a new card comes in. Oh, lucky me. I have here the duct tape, which is also found in the house. I'm very, very lucky. So, okay, action time. I take the alarm clock, put it in my hand. I now have three at three items in my hand: memory eraser, radio alarm clock. Is there an event? Timestamp four, none, one. So, no event. Time passes. So we have a gap here. It stays. This card rotates and comes in. So the barn is there to to go to, but uh, I don't want to go there. I I need my duct tape. 
So my action is to take my duct tape. Now I'm full, full of items. I cannot have more than four items. Let's check the events. Timestamp four, gap, gap, and and a foul, 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 which is a timestamp one. No, no events still. Very lucky this game. So time passes. Card flips, goes underneath. This one comes out. It's the toolbox, which also I need to fix my spaceship. However. The toolbox is in the shed, so I'll go, need to go to the shed. Well, I'm still in luck because the barn is here, but under the barn, it's written that the shed is here. So, oh, oh where, where was it? Here, here, I think. Here? Here, yeah. Um... So my action would logically be to go to the barn. So I swap my location with an available one. I'm now at the barn. And, and that's it for my action. Let's check for events. Here I have a timestamp of one. But it's a lucky break. No more events this turn. So good. No events. Time passes. A new card comes in. Hmm. Okay. My I had planned to scrap my radio in order to take the toolbox, and then I would have uh, I would have been good to go get the sprocket from the tractor. But uh, there's a problem here because. I know that if I don't do something with this card, the event with a timestamp of one will take place. And it's the bothersome crows takes a random item from you. Shuffle your items and discard the first one. I don't want to lose any items. So instead, instead of uh, going to the shed, I think I'm going to go to the cornfield just so the crows are not in the timeline. And that's basically it, guys. Uh, that's the mechanic. Uh, so you do that and you try to extract the sprocket from the tractor. Once you've done that, you can try and go back to the crash site and you will you will have one but uh, it's not always easy so good luck lorg